Johan, what we're going to do here is we're going to begin this search from the sit. Once we're ready to begin the search, we'll give him his search command, which is find it. We'll run up. We work him as close to the end of the leash as possible. Allow him to work independently and on his own. You'll notice on the vehicles we have opened some of the doors on some of these vehicles based on the searches that I ran in Afghanistan and Iraq. ECPs, we always had them open the trunks the, and the doors on the vehicles where we ran them. We're going to begin the search now. Here you go. Yes, Find it. If the dog misses an area, you'll see the trainer will tap on the leash to redirect him in the direction that he wants him to search. So therefore, the dog is taught on that control mechanism to, to feel the leash tap, just like he just did. He'll re-detail that area and he'll continue on around the vehicle until he gets to where the source is. Once he gets to the source, he'll locate source, come back and sit, even if it's a low hide Ooh, or whatnot. Man, all dogs that you guys are getting, Johan, they will be trained under the same commands and the same methodologies that we're going to display on each of these videos. You may see two or three dogs on these videos, um, but they are all the dogs that you're getting and they're trained under the same pretense. So even on the out with the toy, the out from the bite, and even the recall, we're going to use the same command. So the dog automatically knows and, and it's re-established many times over to make it easier for you to train your handlers. So rather than confusing them with several different commands like most try to use, we're gonna use very simple, very direct commands that mean the same thing in all situations. So in this case, the dog has been rewarded and we're gonna go ahead and out the dog from the toy. Here you go. Los. Good so. So we preface it with his name, get his attention, and then los command will let him out the command. Uh, one thing that you're not going to have with these dogs, for one, as you see, in all aspects, we work control. That control being with the handler. A loose lead at all times, meaning we're not holding the dog back. We're taught the dog, or we teach the dog to do it on their own. Uh, with that being said, um, that's the reason why we keep the loose lead the entire time until we administer a correction on the dog. As you'll also see, all the dogs are taught on a flat collar. It's not a problem for you to put them on a pinch or a choker. I'm not sure what you're gonna work them with, but for us, the foundation is always laid with a flat collar and we reinforce a flat collar correction in all instances. So we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Buck go ahead and uh, out the dog again. Here you go. Los. Fooey, los it. Just like then, if he has to minister a correction, he does that with a flat collar and a quick leash snap. Leave. The command for him to search is find it. We direct the area that we want him to search in, and then the dog is allowed to do it on their own. You see the dog overshot this area, and the hey. trainer, hey. he's on source. Woo, that a baby! Oh, man, oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Johan, this is uh, the next series, same search where we start it. Again, no matter our search area, the trainer's going to make him sit, and then he's going to direct him into the area that he wants him to search. Once he tells him that, he's going to use the leash as far away from him as possible. Independently. Simply you want to redirect the dog into the area. Once that happens, he'll keep moving through the search. What he's directed to search, whether it's inside, whether it's on a vehicle, on a trailer, a big truck, the dog is totally taught to sniff and to search the area on its own. So he'll work the area. The handler simply uses the leash control to direct the 